Her. Staying right here in the Queen City, the city of Burlington is redoubling efforts to address homelessness and affordable housing. Today, Mayor Moreau Weinberger announced a 10 point action plan that works to break down some barriers. Local 22's Jolie Sherman joins us live in downtown Burlington to tell us more. Hi, Jolie. Courtney, Mayor Murrow Weinberger says he'll use this plan to try and achieve two big housing goals. One of them is ending chronic homelessness here in the Queen City by the year 2024. Now, he also wants to double housing production over the next five years. Queen City leaders view housing as a human right, and they're working together to fulfill this promise. The path to progress, the path to making Good on the promise that decent, stable housing is a human right is to build a lot more homes throughout the city and throughout the region. The mayor's 10 point plan includes investing $5 million of ARPA money and creating a new leadership role in the city for this work. It also means building more than 1,200 homes, including 312 permanently affordable homes by 2026. Our goal should not simply be to reduce homelessness. It must be to end it. Weinberger says state and local land use policies, which makes housing illegal in some parts of the city, has greatly contributed to the housing shortage. And he's looking to reverse this with a few zoning reforms, such as an MOU to create an enterprise innovation district in the South End. Amidst a housing crisis, this is an unconscionable waste of valuable land. Weinberger and his colleagues say they're determined to address this crisis, especially as Chittenden County saw a nearly 400 percent increase in chronic homelessness since 2018. I feel so strongly that this is a state and regional problem, but unless municipalities own it, um, we're never going to solve it. That was Sarah Carpenter, a Burlington City Council member who has more than 20 years of experience in the housing industry. Now, next month, she and other members from the Burlington City Council will discuss a new low barrier facility that will use ARPA dollars to fund 30 shelter pods and other related infrastructure. For now, reporting live in Burlington, Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News.